Well, it's coming, folks. An hour ago, I'm trying to move around and get out the sun. Now it's gone absolutely black outside. Anyway, that's by the by. Who are we going to talk about now? Wait a minute. I've only got two to go. Oh, I'll tell you what to talk about. Rolf. Rolf Harris. He was on, wasn't he, last night? In plain sight. Very, very similar story to uh, our good friend, Jimmy Savile. Oh, aye, I tell you what. Watched it last night and I thought, how many similarities are there to Savile? It is absolutely unbelievable. He's doing things in plain sight. He's saying things in plain sight. When I say doing things, touching people, kissing people all the way up their arms, like Savile, kissing them on the lips. That that he did with the presenter, was it Beverly something? I can't remember her name. She used to be on, I think, G GMB, GMB, whatever it was called, in the mornings, I think it was on ITV. And he sat across from me saying, oh, how gorgeous you look. Oh, that dress is lovely. And he puts his, his, his hand on the back of her arm twice and you think, oh, my God, what's going on? Was it Beverly Turner? I think it was. Maybe it wasn't. Anyway, she looked uncomfortable. I'm not surprised. She should have chinned him. She should have chinned him. But people thought he was a decent fella. And when you've seen some of the things that some of the old film of him, you think to yourself, you knew he was a bit off the wall, Rod. That was part of the um, the act, I suppose, and part of what we, we thought we liked about him. But you didn't realise quite how weird he was. When they shown that... Um, that thing that was, I'm guessing it was the take on superstars when they did it with TV personalities. And they're all running and he's well behind and pulling faces and doing things and standing out and he's doing his best to stand out. And you're thinking, wait a minute, you're weird. Like, really weird. When we've watched that, not that I remember that show, we didn't see it. We just thought, ah, any funny, any different. But now you look at it and you think, weird, weird, weird. And it was so like Savile, it's unbelievable. Absolutely so like him. Now, I know... He might not have had as many victims and done as much, but in his own way, he was every bit as bad. I just can't believe it. Because I was one of the men that were taken in by him. I quite like Rod. And I mean, when you hear him singing, I mean, I didn't mind Two Little Boys at all, but he's singing, I'm Jake the Pake and the old Didgeridoo and all these songs. And I thought, who would fall for all that crap now? When we were younger, we didn't mind it. I mean, to think, he can barely sing and he's played the old Glastonbury, done one of the big slots there, and you think... How could he get away with that? The song's really a crap, although I didn't mind him. And I'm thinking, it's just unbelievable. Painting the Queen, doing all of that. Command performances, doing all of that. Absolutely unbelievable. What a horrible, horrible cretin he was. Now, we've read about it and we know he's been inside and whatever else. And I thought when they was doing this show, I thought, why are they bringing all this up now? We know it, we've heard about it. But when you actually see it, and when you were watching it, if you did watch it last night, I think I watched it last night, if you didn't, you should watch it, honestly. You think to yourself, oh my God, he makes your skin crawl, just as Savile did. And, and as I say, I knew he was bad, but I didn't know he was that bad. I really didn't. It's unbelievable. Hopefully, these shows will have the effect of making people come forward that have had stuff done to them historically, as in many, many, many years ago. But what it might also do is it might make those that have been abused in any way, shape or form, not by anybody, be them people in the media, people well known or not, to come forward and speak to the police. It really, really may. I mean, they even did something there with the Rolf thing. He's doing a song, and he's done a song, he's performing all over the world about don't let adults touch your children and blah, blah, to the children that they're all singing with him and we don't want to be touched and we don't want this and it's our own body and let off us and so and he's saying oh I, I care about young children I don't want them being abused and that's why we brought out this song and it's all about saying no and it's their own body and they should know what to do and if you're unhappy you complain and you let your parents know and you're thinking he's doing all this it's just the same as several because you know when he gets caught he's going to say I would never have done all that I put that song out there I care about children you've seen it you've heard me sing the song absolutely crazy honestly if you've not watched it watch it it's I didn't think it'd be much of an eye opener I thought I knew everything about him after what bits I'd read in the press when when he went down or when he before he went down when he's going to court but watching it you think oh my god how weird is he how imbalanced and what a freak show an absolute freak show honestly it was it really was as I say so similar to Savile it's unbelievable it really is and it shows them on a couple of shows together Makes you wonder what they've ever got up to together because you wouldn't be surprised. And if they've not done anything together, I think they've definitely been swapping notes. There's no doubt about that. 